Hey everybody, Andrew here, and today I'd like to share with you my birthday haul. Basically, my birthday was May 30th, and I've been on YouTube for over 10 years now, and I don't recall ever doing this, so I don't know why I never thought of it before, but hey, better late than never, right? So I just want to share with you some of the things I got for my birthday, and we'll start off with Mythic Legions here, and this is a line that's basically created by the imagination of the Four Horsemen. You may know them by the Masters of the Universe Classics action figures, for example. They are outstanding sculptors. And this guy is Malatard, the duck. And I don't normally buy these. I don't think I'll be buying too many of these mainly because I like to focus my collection on certain things and these are outstanding action figures and they're very creative but when I saw this by chance I thought it was pretty funny in, in a good way I, I just imagining a, a, a duck warrior just amuses me to no end so I got this really cool figure I am proud to own it so I'm just going to set that aside over there. It's going to get a little crowded here. The next action figure I got for my birthday is, of course, Deadpool. Woo, Deadpool. This is the comic version from what I understand. I did get the gray one. And I passed on this guy at first. And then I figured, you know, I kind of like it. He is a little sparse in terms of accessories. It would have been nice if they had included a taco or a burrito or something humorous that uh, Deadpool is famous for. But that's okay. I'm happy with it. I like the way he looks. And he's a, a happy little addition to my Marvel Legends collection. And then something completely different is... Make sure I have it upright because I'm good at messing things up. The Lego Superheroes, and this is uh, Krypton, the dog here, with Superman and Lobo. Not a bad set for 20 bucks, so there it is. I, I, I dig the dog. I don't know why. That's, that's what really attracted me to this set here. And that's not all, folks. We got more. We've got Bad Cube's Brawny. Now again, this is nothing new, but I've been debating on whether I wanted this guy or not, and you know, there's not a whole lot of things I wanted for my birthday, so I figured, well, you know, this isn't too bad. I actually was lucky to uh, get this pre-ordered off of a Big Bad Toy Store, so this is this is the only gift from me to me, but that's okay. But it's it's really nice. I I know some people either love it or hate it or think it's getting old. I don't care. It's brawn. They did a good job of it. That's that. And then we got ourselves another transformer. I better push this back here because it's gonna get crowded. I got this guy. Red Alert, Masterpiece Red Alert. This is the MP14 Plus. And I apologize for the lighting. I'm still building my review studio. So that's a work in progress. I have room for it now, I think. But anyhow, this is not a new release, of course, but it is one that I did not have. I do like the Lamborghini mode. The, uh, who is it making? Uh, Bad Cube, I believe, is making uh, their own version of Sideswipe and this guy. That's more cartoon uh, accurate, I guess is the term. And I think they did a fantastic job of it. Uh, those are on my pre-order list. And I do plan on getting them, obviously, because of that. But I still wanted this guy. I just, I don't know. I, I like the, the grayish-white on the, the car body and the little changes that they made on him. It's a good mold. I know it's an old mold, but, you know, just because something has been around a while doesn't make it obsolete. Sometimes it does, but in this case, I don't think it is. 
And then I'm going to move these guys aside here because you'll see why in a second. Get over here, buddy. Because the biggest one is, again, nothing new, but I just really liked it. <sighs> Goodness golly, he's a big fella. This thing is about 17 inches tall. This is the animated Darth Vader figure. The batteries died on this thing, so I can't even show you a demo of it. But this thing's been around for a couple of years. Basically, you can uh, touch his, uh, you can push his buttons here, and he'll, you know, move his lightsaber around, and he'll say stuff. The lightsaber lights up. The chest panel, I think, lights up as well, if I remember right. He says a bunch of different phrases. If you wave his lightsaber around, he'll make those lightsaber sounds and effects, and he'll talk to you, and he'll say certain things. Uh, you can wave his other arm around, and he'll do other stuff, uh, mostly saying different phrases again. But this is, this is a really nice display piece. This is a really cool-looking, well-made Darth Vader figure that's a good, chunky size. And I just thought it'd be cool to have him basically guarding the entryway to my collection man cave. So this is normally a hundred bucks at Toys R Us. It is a Toys R Us exclusive. I don't think I panned it high enough for you to see it, but this tripod's old. There it goes. Kind of see it there. Toys R Us exclusive. So as you know, Toys R Us is going out of business. This being normal price of $99.99, I got it for 50% off. Well, not me, but a certain special someone. And I didn't want her to pay a whole lot of money for it. So it was good that it was 50% off. And uh, she surprised me with this big fella here. It's a big box, lots of cool features. So that's my birthday haul for May 30th, 2018. It's good to have a hobby. It doesn't matter. If you're a girl or boy, 6 years old, 60 years old, 80 years old, who cares, man? You know, it's ages 5 and up, ages 4 and up. It doesn't give you a, uh, well, except for Lego, but what do they know, right? But, uh, no, I'm kidding. Lego's awesome. The, the point is, no matter how old you are, if you enjoy toys, if you like it as a hobby, there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong at all. It doesn't make you any less of a person. It doesn't make you a, a nerd or a dweeb. You're just a person who enjoys a hobby. There are guys and gals that like cars and uh, makeup or uh, horses or jewelry. There's all kinds of things that, that people are into. And, and this is no no better or, or less of a hobby. I was a little depressed on having another birthday, getting another year older. But, you know, I, I'm still a kid at heart. You're as young as you feel, no matter how old you get. And if you're in your teens right now or you're, you're in your 20s right now, you're not going to feel that, but down the road, you will. And trust me, don't ever be negative. Don't ever let yourself fall into that, that trap. Always, you, you'll always be as young as you feel. It doesn't matter if you're 80 years old. If you, if you feel like you're a 20-something, bless you for it, because that's the way it should be, because you should always keep moving. You should always be active. You should always have interests. And you should always try to enjoy life as best you can. So on that note, I hope you enjoyed my birthday haul. Stay tuned for more videos. I had to renew my uh, real estate license, basically. It's not hard. It's just time consuming. But now that that's out of the way, uh, I can go back to the fun and back to work and basically wreak havoc on YouTube. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and share my channel with your friends, please. And I'll see you guys real soon. Later.